And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Sparta Prague up against Club Bruges. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. This is looking threatening. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Emmanuel Dennis. Former Diata. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Bozek Dochkal. There's no doubt about it, the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93. And there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world. I think the competition at the top, at the end, near the final, etc., is what it is. But the tournament is strong throughout. The group stages and then the knockout stages, it's the perfect format for me. And teammates to play it to but dealt with efficiently and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here Carlson well he's given a corner their referee And firing it into the area. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. And now the delivery. Good defending to prevent the chance. And it's a quality pass. And you need your defender to take charge. Ladislav Krejci. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Did look on for them, but not to be. Van Aken. And in with a real chance. Clean through, he won. 
was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so oh in with a chance must be oh what an opportunity it's been squandered well you dream of 1v1s as players he's had one and he's squandered it big time Ritz and it's Dennis careless in possession It is a decent-looking attack here. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Van Aken. Eduard Sobol. And that was a very fine read. Playing with purpose and control. Crossfire. Hello and great to have the pleasure of your company. Our match today comes to you from the Estadio Presidente Perón. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and on the menu, an appetising dish. A Conmebol Libertadores first group stage game. It's Racing, and they face Barcelona. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. And a 
throw in it's going to be top class defending but he stopped them just when they looked menacing crossing possibilities a wonderful intervention Danger averted. Molina. Castillo. And he might be through here. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Quintero. Diaz good looking pass speculative ball fired to the near post Neri Dominguez well no danger now opportunity in the wide area yes a real opening now wonderful chance and the post getting in the way well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, they were so, so close there to taking the lead, but the Woodworks, the goalkeeper's friend on that occasion. Can he put it in? And the opportunity for the opening goal goes begging. Well, the stalemate should have been broken there. It's a real terrible miss. to the advanced position can they get in behind them it might be the moment to get them ahead and a goal to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating well here it is a striker's bread and butter simple finish but it's the positioning that gets him the goal well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Lopez Lisandro Lopez all the way through to the keeper then read it superbly to take back possession but attacking possibilities and dispossessed it might be perfectly set up for the counter attack you know and threading it forward he might profit from here you know clean through he was then but he's fluffed his lines Lee well he just put his head down Derek and hit it he's got to do better than that Lionel Miranda. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Lisandro Lopez. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal.
Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. So 2-0 now. Quintero. Diaz. Molina. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Castillo. It is a decent looking attack here. Looks promising this. Play towards the back post. And clears his lines. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, his overall contribution from midfield, chock full of positives. No getting away from that, Lee. Well, he's been the heartbeat of the team again today. It's a big title, but he carries it off brilliantly well. Happy with response. And this is it. With millions tuning in around the world, the anticipation is building ahead of the CONMEBOL Sudamericana final. This is Derek Ray, and I'm joined in the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. We're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Gremio, and they take on Banfield. Well, Derek, how many times have you heard me say you have to stay focused and just do your job? No better advice for a final, I can tell you that. Play the game, not the occasion. Perfect challenge. Options in the middle. Just the clearance that was called for. Still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Might be a 
chance here. And a goal! The first of the contest. Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. The opening goal of the game then. Rodriguez. They've given it away. <laughs> Playing with purpose and control. Now, high quality defending. And that'll be offside. Doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Right place to cut out the pass. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And an astute piece of defending. He's given us away. He's given it straight to the opposition. Datolo. It did look on for them, but not to be. Didn't seem to be too much on that offside decision. I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Datolo. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Gutierrez and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game
Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It is Villarreal, and they face Cadiz. Well, all the hard work to get to a cup final. Don't disappoint yourself. Don't disappoint those fans. Go out and make it yours. Make that cup something you're really proud to win. Sergio Asenjo! The Villarreal starting 11. Sergio Asenjo is the man between the posts. Danny Parejo starts alongside Ibora in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. Ibora. Now with Alcácer. Moving forward effectively. Oh, nice ball. Can he finish? Wonderful block. Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Kala. Well, every team needs an effective leader of the line. Paco Alcácer is certainly that. What might we see from him today, Lee? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he... Oh, in with a chance! Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Side, close one. Jose Mari. Now Salvi Sanchez. Oh, what an opportunity. Couldn't grab hold of it. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Espino might really be able to trouble them here not the pass he had in mind Paco Alcata now Parejo Moy Gomez oh a powerful effort close Bora. Moy Gomez. Parejo. Alcacer. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. 
And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And a goal kick given. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. was in the right place to intercept Parejo struggling to keep the ball Ibora Alcacer gives it a go well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. It's a short one. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goalie. Well, as we can see, he's been in and out of this game. Not like him, to be fair. All will be forgiven if he gets the winner, though. Kala. Trigueros Alcácer crossing possibilities Gaspar no high quality defending this might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity and the counter attack came to nothing Trigueros if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on did so well to deny him now the teams are locked together will it stay that way following this corner played into the center of the box and the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. 